Combo cha cha cha. Combo cha cha cha. What? What am I talking about? Combo cha. This is a beautiful winter squash. I mean, really, look at that. Look at the color. Look at the bottom. Look at all those little bumps. That's where it sits on the ground. And don't worry about that. That's totally fine. We can take this little sticker off. No big deal. But the colors are gorgeous. And you know what? It looks great on a table. It's a winter squash. It's make a little table arrangement. Put some artichokes around it, some purple flowers. And then when you're ready to eat it, it doubles as a meal, okay? Now here's the thing, it's intimidating. You see this in the supermarket, it's always on the bottom shelf, near the floor, near the butternut squash, the acorn squash. You kinda wanna buy it, but you don't know what to do with it. Well, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna make it super easy. There's three steps to this, okay? The two first steps are so simple, okay? This little guy is not easy to penetrate. It's also round and rolly, and it can be a little dangerous. So here's what you do. Step one, put it in the microwave for five minutes on high. Don't worry about it exploding. It's not gonna explode. Second, put it in a 350 degree oven once you take it out of the microwave for 15 minutes on 350, okay? What's that gonna do? It's not gonna cook it, it's gonna soften it. That's gonna allow us to cut this really easy and simply. Even your kids can do it, okay? Once we cut it, I'll show you what we do next and we're gonna turn this into something so delicious, so healthy. Eat the rainbow with me. Let's do it. Hey guys, so five minutes in the microwave on high, 15 minutes in the oven at 350. I took it out. It's completely tender to the feel, but not cooked. I raised the temperature of my oven to 450. And now I'm gonna take a knife and just cut this in half. And you'll see how easily we can get through this. I'm just gonna show you half for right now. Okay. See how that's smoking hot? Let me just get rid of that little piece. No worries. Okay, and now I'm gonna put it flat side down because when you're cutting things that are round like carrots or anything that isn't completely flat, you always wanna get your flat side. So I'm cutting right through. See how easy that is to go through? And I'm gonna go through again and go through again. Okay, let's turn these baby over. Look at that gorgeous color. Okay, and now I'm just going to scrape out those seeds and I'm gonna put it on a parchment lined sheet pan. And you can even cut these smaller if you want. I may even cut this one in half again. And then simply, you know, you can put, um, brown sugar on this, you could put molasses, you could put maple syrup, but we're gonna go a little bit lighter in calories. So I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of oil over the top. I'm using um, a light olive oil. You could also use an olive oil spray. I'm gonna add a little bit of orange. This is a mandarin orange. Nice bright flavor. A Little bit of balsamic vinegar. And that's gonna kind of add that kind of sugary sweetness that we want and just a touch of salt. We're gonna put that in the oven until it's fork tender, probably about 20 minutes and golden brown and bubbly. And then we'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so our squash is out of the oven. I'm gonna put one small piece here for us to taste on this little plate and the rest we're gonna put on this platter. And you can cut this up into smaller pieces. You can leave it just as is. You can put some on the side. This is just such a nice winter dish on a cold night. And then what I like to garnish it with is um, I have a little bit of Malden sea salt with some lemon zest in it. So we're gonna just put a little bit of that on top for a little bit of crunch and a little bit of extra flavor. I'm gonna put some toasted pecans on top. Some pomegranate seeds for a little bit of sweetness. 
It's always nice to have different textures and different colors, different flavors, right? And then I'm gonna put a little bit of balsamic syrup over the top. And that's it. A little bit of sage on there. Beautiful winter herb. Let's taste it. Parks, you want to bite? Yeah, I do. Does it taste healthy and delicious? It tastes healthy and hearty and delicious. Okay, let me come grab the little fork there. Okay, it's coming back to me. It's, oh. It's so good. And you could also yeah. drizzle this with a little bit of sour cream some creme fraiche, some yogurt. You could put a little butter on top, but we're trying to keep it a little bit healthy. So serving this with like your favorite protein or just as is, I think it's a perfect winter night at home. It's delicious. You like it, Parks? Yeah, a lot. Okay, good. Yay. You guys can do it, okay? <laughs> keep watching.